everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time doing another Halloween film review, and this one is on Hotel Transylvania. Now, as you know, Hotel Transylvania is a 2012 American computer animated comedy film that was directed and created by Gendy Tarkakoski. Also known for creating the cult classic series Samurai Jack, Symbiotic Titans, and Dexter's Laboratory. Now, the premise of the movie is meant to be about a hotel for monsters. And we kind of see how monsters get together, mostly like a hotel. And we kind of see how Dracula is quick to kind of, you know, run the place, make sure it's kept on a tight schedule. And at the same time still tries to be with his friends. For example, you've got Frankenstein who's kind of like the best friend character. And kind of acts like an... And kind of acts like the kind of uncle figure to Mavis, his daughter. You've also got Wayne the werewolf. Play, voiced by Steve Borskimi. Who's kind of this like down on his luck. More like father of millions. And you've also got Griffith, the Invisible Man, who's kind of just there as another friend. And you've got Murray, who is kind of like the short, fat, mummy-like character. So pretty much we see how the monsters are afraid of the human world. And due to what happened to them years ago, you can tell they're a bit more afraid of what they don't really understand. And when he's got his daughter Mavis wanting to explore the world... You can kind of tell Dracula does try to trick her into not going. You can tell he's trying to do the right things for the right reasons. Until one day, a young human known as Johnny starts to enter their world. And you can tell Dracula is quick to kind of, you know, hide the fact he's a human. You can tell he does try to make sure the things are kept the way they are. And when we do kind of see the two characters interact, you can kind of tell Dracula does try to warm up to him and does kind of enter his world. And when you've got Johnny entering his world, you can kind of tell he starts to become afraid at first, but later starts to warm up to the hotel. And you can tell that the other monsters start to see him as a true friend. Friend under his monster disguise, and when you've got Mavis and them, like, being together, it sort of works. It's like getting to know someone and sort of finding a mutual like for each other. And I do feel the movie does have an important lesson about not judging a book by its cover and not painting the same fence twice. And we've seen this done before with X-Men, We've seen this done before with Monsters, Inc. And we've even seen this done with Ants. And I would say that the movie really knows how to hit some serious moments. Like, for example, when Dracula tells the true story of what happened to his wife, to Johnny, it really works. And you can kind of tell Gendy Karkakowski really knows how to do a serious moment because when you've got symbiotic titans, when you call in, when you kind of got Lance looking back at a memory of his dad, it works. It's like knowing someone you know was going to leave you. And when we do see Lance at the military academy, it turns him into the person he is now. And when you've got Samurai Jack, when you look at Jack's kind of PSTD moments, it actually works. And I do feel the movie doesn't really have a villain. Everyone is just meant to sort of be afraid of what they don't really understand. And I would say that the movie coming out in basically in 2012 in September does kind of work. Because it's like knowing that a part of your life from your, from your childhood was coming to an end. And for me, this was when I was starting my second college. This was a message that, yeah, I had to kind of accept the friends I had at my old college and that the memories I had would still be with me and that the important thing was to accept what was then 
and now move on to the future. And I know that the films have had two of the sequels, which was Hotel Transylvania 2, basically released in 2015, and the third one, Hotel Transylvania 3, Summer Vacation, that came out in 2018. And I do admit, Adam Sandler really knows how to do a serious movie, and I think he really knows how to. I think his movies aren't bad, as they're supposed to have a message. I just think he doesn't really know how to handle it properly. So, in my opinion, Hotel Transylvania opened its doors and gave us a straightforward film. I think this movie deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.